What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Igor and in this video I'm going to be talking about when should you choose to edit your photos in black and white. So number one question that you should ask yourself is does color have large impact on the photo that you edited? Color can either add or unintentionally detract interest from a photo. So you have to ask yourself does the photo rely on nice colors or does the photo have uh, some other interesting aspects to it that can be emphasized with turning the photo black and white. So if you have a bland scene or subdued colors, this type of image would do well when converted to black and white. Another reason could be covering bad colors or photos with little variation in colors. This would be a good moment for you to try black and white. Another good reason to edit your photos in black and white is if you end up shooting underexposed photo because first of all, it most likely will look better and then second of all, it gives you more flexibility without losing quality in your colors. Second question you should ask yourself, are there interesting lights and contrast in your photo? So when you remove color from your photos, you're only left with differences in toes, lights, and darks, which means light and shadows take the center stage. This contrast and differences in light is what's gonna make a great black and white photo. Converting to black and white is a good way to show the light and how the light falls on your subject. Another reason to edit your photos in black and white is if you have silhouette shots. For silhouette shots, black and white works most of the time perfectly. Number three reason you want to edit in black and white is if you want to emphasize textures or details in your photos. Photos in which texture takes the central stage greatly benefit from being edited in black and white, as black and white tends to emphasize textures, allowing the viewer to more appreciate what the subject feels like. Black and white processing isn't always the right choice, but when you use it with intention, it can make a big difference the way you communicate your photography to your audience. Try playing with different images and see how the mood changes when you change them to black and white. And you never know, black and white might work perfectly for the type of photography that you're doing. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a like. If you'd like to see more photography, also make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.